Today, I'm going to show you how to save a ton of time and money making a DIY photo booth. I'm going to show you exactly what parts you'll need, how to make it portable and simple to set up. Hi, I'm Jessica, photo booth geek with twowaymirrors.com. Making a photo booth is incredibly easy if you know what to buy. You can create a photo booth with a ring light and an iPad or Android tablet. After trying several different lights, I discovered that the Neewear 20 inch is perfect because it's battery powered and the LEDs adjust for perfect lighting. For your convenience, I'll leave all the links below. Here's how it all fits together. Unfold the light stand and attach the ring light. Use a tablet mount to mount your tablet within the light. In this demo, I used a 12.9 inch iPad Pro for maximum screen space within the inner diameter of the 20 inch ring light. If you're using an 11 inch iPad, it will fit perfectly within the 19 inch ring light. I like this 20 inch because it's battery powered so you can move it anywhere within a party. I'll leave you all the links below for the best tablet clamps. Next pro tip, choose the best software. I like the Simple Boo software because it's easy and allows for sharing on Facebook, Instagram, or printing using a portable photo printer. By the way, I can't wait to share more videos on DIY photo booths with you. I've got tips on backdrops, props, and printers planned for my next three videos. Hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss them. Here's how it works. questions, leave a comment below or shoot me an email. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a photo booth. Super fast, super cheap. And best of all, you can keep it forever. What up ninjas? This is Krista, adventure videographer and gadget guru. My photo booth build is so simple, literally anyone can put this thing together. I'm using the newer ring light, super thin, lightweight model, along with an iPad Pro. It's 11 inches and no button. That makes it even simpler for people that are using it because, hello, the button, everybody just wants to press it. They're like <laughs> And then of course, if you have software up, oh my God, it, it goes right out of it. Here's how you build it. You take the light stand, attach the ring light. So it comes as two pieces when you first get it. So you just put it on there and then you attach the clamp. Now this one attaches to the base and then you just put your iPad in like so. Woo! Now I put it down just a little bit so it's resting on this part of the ring light. 
That keeps it from bobbling around too much and you'll get clear pictures that way. Next up, we have the sign. You need this sign so people know it's a photo booth. Duh. The awesome thing about this photo booth is that it's super portable and lightweight, so you can just hoist it on your shoulders and take it anywhere you want. Like, it's a one-man show. I'm putting it on my back, and I can put other things in my hand and just strut, you know? Like, you're not carrying boxes and boxes of gadgets to get to your destination, several trips to the car, ugh, having like minor flashbacks of those moments. Since it's super portable, I can take it into parties, move it around the venue. And shoot it around inside, outside, take it to photo shoots, make videos with it. It's a great content creator tool in that sense. Okay guys, in the next few days, I'm releasing a sequel to this video, going into more detail on these techniques. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. When you're looking at software for your tablet or iPad, you just wanna make sure it's simple, intuitive, easy to use, and most of all, it's shareable. There's gotta be some share buttons so that way people can promote themselves on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, get that social recognition for being where they are in that picture. The key is that they're able to share it right then. You don't want to post these pictures later on some like random gallery where people will share it after like nobody cares about it anymore. Okay, so once you've shared your image, it goes to the online gallery and then it just starts right from the beginning. The interface is super easy. So I've taken it to a wedding and just for like a gathering, a family gathering, they kept coming back to it. I just can't say how easy it is. Like you can just put it in your bag, you've got your tripod, you walk in, you don't have to worry about carrying in like a truckload of stuff. Super portable, fun, and easy, and you keep it forever. I would just take it everywhere from that point on. If you have any questions about iPad photo booths, leave a comment below or send me an email. Okay, now let's see it in action. In this experiment, we had two photo booths. One with a ring light and an iPad, and the other utilizing a full-length mirror and a cell phone. And a mess load of props. Oh my gosh. So we literally took like 10 trips to the car. Uh, I mean, but it was really helpful because we got to see which props people gravitated toward. <laughs> didn't work at all. By the way, don't get those huge bundles from Amazon because first of all, the sticks come separately. <laughs> so that kind of blew my mind. And then even the props came like dismantled. So we got to the party and unleashed these props. We're like, oh man, these take an additional setup. <laughs> oh man. It was chaos. Yeah, but once we got set up, it was time to party. <laughs> After we were all set up, the first prop to hit the dance floor was this crazy long green wig. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. A grown man had on my tutu. And, and the glasses to be 
put it on the glasses too. It's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know how they could dance with these things on. Yeah, it was truly fun for everyone. Like little kids, adults, everyone loved these props. <laughs> So once you have your LED props set up, now is the time to get some special effects going. So this includes bubbles. In bigger spaces, you might also consider fog machines or strobe lights. <laughs> what else should we use? So once you have your LED lights and your special effects, you're gonna want a costume and a costume you can party in. Oh yeah. So you could become, for instance, the beer guy. find them here as well. And for you guys out there, don't forget your Star Wars suit. Oh my gosh. That's just so awesome, I have to say. Someone rolled out with this at the wedding you're at and it just totally <laughs> owned it throughout the entire night. Master, now you want to add in the icing on the cake. So I had this killer idea that you hook up your Bluetooth printer, so you're connecting it to your phone or your iPad, and it prints automatically. And the really sweet thing about this printer is that the paper actually has a self-adhesive backing, so you can peel it away and stick it anywhere you want. So for like a wedding, we had this idea to put together a scrapbook and paste the pictures in and write a little message to the bride and groom congratulating them on their wedding. And then using the chalk and the metallic 
tell paint markers to write in the photo scrapbook. But be careful because some printers print automatically or every picture and you may end up with some kids printing a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so it is cool to have your own software and be selective like based on the pictures that you just took. You can choose to print it or not instead of having every single one printed. Yeah, because you don't want to babysit your photo booth while you're trying to party. Exactly. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Okay, so one of the things we learned at this wedding is you can have as many photo booths as you want. We There was the main photo booth, then we had a supplemental photo booth, and then we had the full-length photo booths for a total of three at one party, and they were all being used. But after talking with everyone in the crowd, this was their favorite photo booth, the iPad with the ring light. So let's check it out. So you just tap to start. So once you get your photos stripped with this simple booth software, you can actually do a few different modes. The, the crowd favorite again was doing the animated GIF at the end. And once you have your strip, you click next, and then you can text it to yourself, or you can email it, and then you just click done, and it's saved to a gallery that everyone has access to that you want. And don't forget your photo booth sign so everyone knows where to take the picture. All right, guys, leave a comment letting us know your favorite prop. And don't forget to check out the website for exclusive insider tips on photo booths. Or check out our YouTube channel to check out all of our cool videos. Woo! By the way, it's twowaymirrors.com. See you next time. I'm Audi 5000. I'm Audi 10,000. Today, I'm going to show you the best mirror to use for a full-size mirror photo booth project. I'm going to outline the exact glass you'll need, how to frame it, and how to add touchscreen technology, then how to add lighting behind it. Hi, I'm Jessica, mirror geek with two-way mirrors. Let's get started. It's very easy to build a mirror photo booth if you know how. The concept is simple. Combine a television, two-way mirror, and a touch frame. I'm going to take you step by step through exactly what you'll need and how to put it all together. A mirror photo booth can be any size and shape, but we made it to the same size as the touch frame to keep the project super simple. In this build, we used a 75 inch IR touch frame, which costs less than $350, along with smart mirror glass. We've sandblasted the edges to provide lighting, which costs less than $35. For your convenience, I'll leave all the links below in the description. By the way, hit subscribe and notify if you want to see the rest of the amazing photo booth builds. I've already planned my next three mirror photo booth projects, and I am so excited to share them with you. Unlike a regular two-way mirror, a photo booth mirror is highly transparent allowing vivid color to pass through. The overall size of the mirror is built for a 75 inch diagonal IR touch frame, which plugs in with a USB into any PC. Now, I'm gonna take you through the features that I'm really jazzed about. Tempering the glass makes it 10 times stronger, which makes it way less likely to break when transporting it. For the photo booth safety, it's definitely recommended. It's especially important if you plan on moving the photo booth around a lot or if you're traveling with it. Because if you show up with a broken photo booth, it could ruin your reputation and spoil the entire event. Sandblasted edges for backlighting allows you to add lighting directly into the booth. The light chasing LEDs behind it gives it a wow effect and screams play with me. The light strip controller syncs to music with a microphone and can be fully controlled and programmed with your cell phone. Here's the extra equipment that comes in handy. 
a high power lithium power pack so the TV does not need to be plugged into a wall, a mini lithium battery pack for the 12 volt LEDs, an extra long two prong TV cord just in case you happen to be near an outlet, gaffer tape to help keep it attached to the carpet and prevent tripping, extra 12 volt LED light strip with white LEDs just in case your client prefers it over the color chasing effect. I'll leave the link below where you can learn how to build a frame for it or just check out our website for ordering. Here's a few more pro tips for you. Place any television behind it, ranging from 32 to 65 inches. Simply place your camera behind the glass on its own tripod. Each piece is lightweight. Frame, glass, and touch overlay easily placed together. We can customize the frame to any style that you would like. Because the mirror is full scale, it does not need to lean a lot for people to see their full reflection in it. But if this is not your style, you also have the option to wall mount it or use a flight case. Prefer to have us make you a full system? Fully assembled units are available. We're happy to quote you a price based on your specs. It's also an in-stock item that can be shipped right away. Okay guys, that takes you through it. Any questions, leave me a comment below or check out our website, twowaymirrors.com. Want to stay in touch with my latest projects? Hit that subscribe button and notification bell right now so you don't miss it. Well, that's all for now. I'm Jessica with Two Way Mirrors and I'll see you next time. Today, I'm going to share with you some exclusive insider tips on photo booths. What up, ninjas? It's Krista with Two Way Mirrors. The main question everyone is thinking about is, do you want to rent a photo booth, buy one outright, fully assembled, ready to go, or should you build one? If you are hosting an event, or you have an event, and you just want a photo booth to be there, but you don't necessarily want to start a photo booth business, and you just have so many things on your plate, photo booth renting is the way to go. Now, the price may totally depend on your location. You usually go like $200 and up. But the great thing about it is, you don't have to buy anything specifically, and if you don't have a lot of space, that's great. You can have someone stroll in, put up their photo booth, and then they take it away when they're done. Bam, super easy, and they're getting paid to do it, so they're gonna make sure it's awesome, for sure. If you are not renting one, because you want it for more than one occasion, or you're doing a business, and you don't have that upfront capital to just psh, buy a photo booth outright, the next step is to build one. So. The fastest, easiest way to get started with this is to do an iPad or a tablet and download some free photo booth software just to get it rolling. The great thing about this is there are paid softwares out there that can help you control it as a business model, but at the same time, if you're doing just for personal reasons, like, whoa, you're awesome, you brought the life of the party, and you can even lower it to the little minion level. That's just amazing. So once you have your tablet or iPad, all you need now is something to hold it in place to signify that it's a photo booth. Our favorite is the ring light because it provides the lighting in case you're in the dark, like at a wedding reception. Or dance party, rave, who knows? But this LED light strip here just makes it amazing for photo booths. So you just get a ring light, a little clamp to hold the tablet in place, and then bam, you've got the ultimate photo booth. So if you're going to add a mirror in front of your ring light, aka our Halo teleprompter, then you can still use an iPad but all you need is a little clicker. You just use this baby, like, connect it via Bluetooth, via, via Bluetooth, and then you just click that button, and then psh. Wait. 
So the button works with the software, which is awesome. But wait, there's more. If you want to go even more ultimate than this, the next step in photo booth greatness is the Magic Mirror photo booth. And to do this, you basically need an acrylic 2A mirror and a display and a phone. But really, you don't have to have a display. You can just use your phone, whatever. So in this case, we have a full length photo booth acrylic. With a little phone at the top, boom, power it up. And you've got your little clicker, shutter, and you're able to just take the picture on command and share all of the amazing memories later on your website or via Google Drive, connect it to social media, whatever works for you. Okay, so in addition to using the clicker, by the way, or the shutter, you can do voice control with the phone and some tablets and iPads do this as well, where you can say, shoot, or cheese, or record video. And it'll start recording for you without even having to touch it, which is super sweet. Okay, if you plan to use voice control, you gotta make sure, first of all, people know what they're doing. So put up a big sign that says, say cheese, say shoot. All the commands, that way when they get up there, they're not just looking like idiots in front of a mirror doing nothing. <laughs> the best way to go is actually to add like a touch overlay or touch foil with the display so you get that interactivity. We were out in the field and the most popular photo booth was this one because people could go up, take the picture, and share it super fast. People want that instant social status, for mm. sure. And we do have instructions on how to build this on the website. If you have any other questions, or you just love us and want more of it, go to our website, 2 You won't be disappointed. And don't forget to leave me a comment with your favorite prop that I'm wearing. Alright, till next time guys, I'm out of 5,000! <laughs>